As healthcare moves towards integrated care, there are many roads to travel. At Aurora Healthcare in Milwaukee, they're using their massive number of patients to their benefit. Here in Wisconsin, what could possibly be bigger than beer, brats, and the Green Bay Packers? Well, it's Aurora Healthcare, the largest employer in the state. A few years ago, Aurora faced a huge challenge how to leverage the scale of Aurora's 5 million patient visits per year while integrating Aurora's 30,000 caregivers and its far-flung 15 hospitals, 160 clinics, and related home health care facilities and pharmacies throughout eastern Wisconsin. We had the components early on. We had the clinics, the hospitals, the pharmacies, but it was they were all very siloed. Moving towards the fully integrated vision, we needed to put these components in place to get to a fully integrated model. And that, I think, is where we are now. And being there affords us the ability to take care of the patients in a way that we weren't able to do when we were beginning our journey. They figured the best way to start was to mine the data of all those patients. And from that data, figure out how to make healthcare more streamlined, more cost-effective, more value-based and most importantly, better for patient outcomes. They came up with a predictive analytic program and ran a heart failure and COPD pilot that segmented the sickest patients, predicted who was at biggest risk for being repeat patients, then designed an alternative multidisciplinary care program in an attempt to reverse their likelihood of hospital admission. What this model does is it looks at those really high risk folks and says, let's reach out to them proactively Let's get their medicines covered. Let's make sure they know how to take them, that they're following the right diet and exercise program, um, that we catch those early warning signs. And it worked. In one year, Aurora saw a reduction in the admission of heart failure patients by 60% and all-cause admissions by 20%. And that doesn't mean less business for Aurora. It has not only meant better outcomes for those patients by keeping them out of the hospital, it has also freed up more time and space at Aurora to see new patients. In fact, the results were so good, Aurora was asked by Congress to share those results in Washington. We were asked to visit with a bipartisan committee of the Senate to share our results. Quite frankly, they didn't believe them, and they wanted us to come and actually share the results with them so that they could ask us detailed questions. Another huge aspect to Aurora's care is its Neuroscience Innovation Institute, only a year old now and already getting national attention. Neurosurgeon Dr. Kassam designed the institute. He calls it a nimble, forward-thinking group that uses technology to weave together three verticals, innovation, clinical, and education. He views his team of doctors like a pro football team that watches film and goes through walkthroughs during the week and then springs to action on game day. Each week, everyone on his team of doctors goes over a summary on every neuroscience patient before they arrive. When the patient comes to the clinic, they all meet in what they call the collaboration room. The patient is surrounded by all the subspecialty physicians. Dr. Kassam says the patient is treated like the corporate board of a company that everyone else answers to. If there's conflict and tension, we force it to occur in that room with you there so we can get opinions. And you're able to then say, radiation oncology, what do you think? Medical oncology, what do you think? And allow them to have a discussion and you become the board. And your job is then to arbitrate. And our job is to provide content expertise. It all adds up to eliminating unnecessary and redundant procedures, or variant management. Our full-time job is to take variance and reduce it. That's how you drive value. The goal of all this data mining and the teamwork, of course, is to reach a value-based, multidisciplinary care model. Probably the thing that separates the organization from others that I've worked at is their ability and interest to be patient-centric and truly create innovation delivery models. Well, this has been a journey uh, over many, many years of uh, creating the aura of desirability, creating an organization that physicians who could go anywhere in the country look at Aurora and say, I want to practice there. In Milwaukee, I'm Andy Rosegen.